Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing fantastic. I am finally home from vacation, finally able to get a video out for you guys. Ever since I got back, I've been working doubles, trying to make up for some of the money that I spent on vacation, also trying to make up for those days that I missed while I was gone. Um, so I've been doing doubles, so I have not had a moment to sit down and film a video, but I finally do. And I wanted to bring you guys what I bought while I was on vacation. So those of you that are not interested in this kind of a video, I completely understand. And there's going to be a Dollar Tree haul coming up next. I have all the stuff for it. I just have to sit down and film it. I'm going to try to do that right after this. Time permitting, we will see. But I have that coming out soon. So go ahead to go to the bat video. But those of you that are interested in seeing what I got while I was on vacation, go ahead and stay. And let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, vacation was amazing, you guys. Hawaii was beautiful. The weather was perfect. Um, we went to two dinners. Otherwise, other than that, we stayed, um, at our resort. Uh, we went to the North Shore for one day. We drove, we had a rental car and we drove out there. That was amazing. I love the North Shore. It's so fun. Um, like I said, hi, I hadn't been in over a decade. So this trip was just so much fun for me. I, I did not want to come home. Um, when I got home, I was super depressed because I was home. I just, I mean, I loved it so much. It was just the best time. And to go with my mom, my aunt, and my grandma, it was just so special and so wonderful. I just, I can't say enough about it. So let's just go ahead and show you what I got while I was there. All right, my dad watched Chloe while we were gone. So I wanted to grab him something. So I went ahead and got him this little Quicksilver t-shirt. It's just a white t-shirt. The front of it has a little thing too. The same thing is just small on the front and it just says Quick Quicksilver Hawaii. And I just grabbed it at this Quicksilver store. I just thought it was really cute with like the Hawaiian colors in the middle and the palm trees. So I picked that one up for him. You guys know how much I love my t-shirts. I wear t-shirts all the time to do my videos. So I kind of went a little t-shirt happy because everywhere that I went, they were having like a buy one, get one half off or a, um, you know, two for something deal. You know, they were all doing that. So I kind of went ham. So let's just go ahead and get started on the t-shirts and the clothes. All right. When we were in the North Shore, I picked this up from the TNC Surf Shop. And this was one of the, um, if you bought a sweatshirt, you got a t-shirt 50% off. So I picked out this one. I just thought it was really cute. It says North Shore Aloha Hawaii, and it just has a little cute design on it. I really liked it. I thought it was pretty cute. And then the reason I got that is because this is what I really wanted. And then if you bought one, you got a t-shirt for 50% off. So I went ahead and got it, but I got this cute t-shirt, I mean sweatshirt. I love the color of it. I thought it was a really pretty, kind of like a dusty rose color. And then it has the cute little pineapple that says Aloha. And it's just a zip up hoodie. It's also from TNC Surf Design. And this is their little logo there at the top. Isn't that cute? I fell in love with this sweatshirt, so I had to get it. And it was kind of cold the day we went and I didn't have anything, so I actually needed it. So I was super excited to find them one that I really liked. Okay, I also got this t-shirt. They have this really cute store that I bought a few other things at that I'll show you, but I bought a t-shirt there as well because I just thought it was really cute. It just says Aloha North Shore, but it's like kind of surfboards and a little bit vintage-like. I thought the colors were really pretty. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. And then I went to, we went to the Joel Pineapple Plantation one day, which was so fun. I love it there. The pineapple um, soft serve. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like I could have, I could have gone back five different times and had the same thing. It was so, so yummy. But I bought a t-shirt there because I love the pineapple plantation. So I went ahead and grabbed this cute little t-shirt with the little snazzy pineapple and the rainbow. Of course, you guys know me in rainbows, but I just thought it was really cute. And I wanted something from the plantation and I figured a t-shirt would be perfect because I wear them. All right, and then I bought a few at the resort. My mom and aunt and grandma actually bought this for me for Mother's Day. So it is this cute spirit jersey. I wanted it and it was at the shop half off. So they went ahead and grabbed it for me for Mother's Day and gave it to me. And it just says Koalina, which is the area where we stayed. And it just has like a cute little Hawaiian flower and it has it embroidered. And it is a spirit jersey like you would get at Disneyland or whatever. It just is for Koalina. I'll show you the little tag spirit jersey 
So yeah, it's just real cute. I thought it was really cute. Um, the tie dye, the peach and the purple, I thought it was pretty. And um, I really uh, like that it's kind of heavy. It's not like a t-shirt, but it's not quite a sweatshirt either. So it's gonna be really nice for summer. So that was really sweet of them to grab that for me. That was a nice little treat for Mother's Day. In that same shop, our little gift shop, I bought a couple of t-shirts as well because this was where you get two for, I think it was two for 20 or two for 15. So I grabbed this one that says Koalina Hawaii because that's where we stayed. And then I grabbed this one that just says Oahu Hawaii. I like the color and I like the rainbow. I kind of like that they all look kind of vintage. All right, now we'll get into the stuff that isn't t-shirts or anything like that. I bought a few really cute clove, clothing pieces. Clove. <laughs> clothing pieces. I bought this really cute tank top from one of the little, the little boutiques that we happened to go into. And I actually, this is funny, I saw like one of the same, almost very similar to it at Target. So if you like it, you can go and buy one at Target. Um, I don't think they had this exact color. I really like this kind of chambray blue and I really thought it was really cute with the bows and the ruching detail and kind of the little like peplum bottom. So I grabbed that. And then we went to Target in Hawaii because we wanted to get some groceries for the room and I actually ended up getting a couple of things and I think you can probably get them at any Target, not just Hawaii Target. And so I grabbed this really cute, I hadn't seen this at mine though, so I was really excited to see it. I got a bathing suit because I just thought it was so cute. Look at how cute the straps are. Aren't those cute, the little ruffled straps? It's just a one piece and then it just has a cute little bow back tie with like a low back. Isn't that cute? I fell in love with it. I was so happy with the color. Obviously I like this color. It's the color of the sweatshirts I got as well. But yeah, I really like that. You guys don't mind, I'm missing a veneer. I had a little bit of a veneer problem right before we went to Hawaii. Haven't been able to have it fixed yet. So that's upcoming in the next couple of weeks, but we're dealing with that. <laughs> All right, and then I got this really cute little, um, what is this called? Romper, a little romper. And it's just like a little cover up. It's like a really gauzy material, if you can see through there. And then it's just like this, obviously chambray blue and dusty pink are the colors that I like right now. So it's just like a pinstripe and it has two little pockets and it's just a little romper to wear over your bathing suit. I wore it over that one actually. And it was super cute and really easy to throw on and off, like to run to the, um, restroom or the snack bar or whatnot you know it was really 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 easy to throw in and off and really cool and comfortable felt like you weren't wearing anything and it was really cute all right and then we went to this other little boutique in the north shore and i found this adorable little dress and i just had to get it because i can even wear this to work with a sweater over it and um tights so it's just this black little cute sundress just a little spaghetti strap sundress, but I really thought that the little button detail was cute in the front. And then I thought that this little eyelet and ruffle hem was cute. So I grabbed that dress. It was like a great, I think it was under 20 bucks, great price for a dress. And I was just really impressed with that little boutique. They had really great stuff for really great prices. Okay, next we went to the Alani, which is the Disney resort, and it was right next door to our resort, and I had never been, and oh my gosh, I was so excited. I don't know, I think I've told you guys maybe, but most of you probably don't know, I'm a huge Disney nerd, love everything Disney, love Disneyland, want to go to Disney World so bad, have never been there, but want to go so bad, but anyways, was so excited to go to the Alani, it was so beautiful, amazingly beautiful, luxurious, gorgeous hotel. Lots of kids, lots and lots of kids, but beautiful, beautiful, and lots of stuff for the adults to do too. We went and had dinner, and then we went to the gift shop because that's really what I wanted to do. So when we were on the North Shore, we saw um, sea turtles. There's this spot that you can go, and it, every time you go, it's got tons of sea turtles. It's just where they hang out. They actually come up on the sand, and you can take pictures kind of by them. Of course, there's like wildlife conservatorship there and you can't touch them or anything which you should not definitely don't touch sea life that come up on the sand but um it's so cool to be able to see them and be so close to them and then they were all in the water and that was like the coolest thing to me to see them actually you could see the sun was kind of setting and so when the waves came up the light was coming through them and you could see like five to ten sea turtles in each wave like coming it was amazing so so pretty 
So I fell in love with the turtles. You'll see a theme. I got a few turtle things because since then I was in love with them. And at the Alani, a turtle is their little mascot. How cute is he? It's just a little turtle. So he has a little Mickey on the back. His name is, um, for those of you that wonder about Disney characters, he is at the Alani. Now he's at other parks. I think he might be in Korea, maybe Japan. I don't know, but um, not Korea. Is there, is there, no, Japan or Paris. I'm not sure, but um, his name is Olu and he was originally for the, the resort at Alani. So he's so cute. So I grabbed this little stuffy so that I would have a remembrance of the turtles. I also grabbed him in this little keychain form. And this was pretty cool because it was a special edition. Um, this was the one that we was originally released when they first opened the hotel. They brought him back out and they're only selling what they have in stock and then he won't be sold anymore in this little outfit ever again. So of course, I mean, limited edition, I get suckered into anything limited edition really, but I mean, how cute is he anyways? So I got the little keychain version of him as well. I don't think I'll use him as a keychain. I'll either maybe hang him, hang him in my car or um, from one of my pin boards, you know, my Disney pin boards or something like that. But isn't he so cute? His little luau outfit on. All right, so I got him. And then they have these cool things at Disney called Wishables. They're Disney Parks Wishables. And these are the little bags that they come in. They don't all look like this. This is the Hawaiian Alani version. They have different packaging, but they're all in bags like this. And this is the... Um, brand name I mean the label of them and you can get it's a it's a blind bag so you can get a certain assortment of these toys and you don't know which one you're gonna get and they're little stuffed plushes and these were your options for Hawaii it's a special edition of course for Hawaii you know you can't be, get these anywhere else you could get like the little spam musabi chip the shaved ice or goofy and I really wanted the shaved ice or Goofy, and I was so excited because I got Goofy. And he's my favorite character of like all time. I've loved him ever since I was a kid. So I was really excited, and they're just really cute. They have their little lays on and their Hawaiian shirts. So, and they're just little stuff, kind of little stuffies. They can just go and like, I keep all of my stuffed animals kind of in a little basket in my bedroom to like remind me of my time. And I just love them. I think they still make me very happy. <laughs> So I keep all of them in there. I thought maybe he'd be cute on my car too, like sitting on the dash or something. I don't know. Stupid, but so cute. So I grabbed those and then I did buy a couple of pins because I had to, because I collect Disney pins and these were only in Hawaii. So I had to grab them. So I grabbed this one that is a double pin. It is um, Mickey and Minnie surfing. So you get two pins in one. Super cute though. Minnie has a flower in her hair. They're cute. She's paddle boarding actually and he's surfing. So cute. So I grabbed that one and then I had to get one of Olu of course, the turtle because the turtles are one of my favorite things. So I grabbed him on the little raft and he is actually a pop-up feature. You can see the double. So he's really pretty. I love the sparkly background on him and he's special to the Alani. So yeah, super excited. I was excited with my pins. All right, where to go to next? Oh yeah, one more thing from the Alani. I picked up a thing of stickers. They are called Duffy's Beachy Days. And they're just little stickers for, um, for your water bottle, for your computer, for your planner, for whatever. These are what they look like. That's the size of them. Isn't the packaging super cute? And then these are the ones that you get. So you get the bunch of Disney characters. You get the Alani Hotel. Super cute. I just thought they were cute. So I grabbed the set of stickers. Okay. Let's do, um, let's do the other stickers that I got. Of course I had to get some stickers because I decorate all of my water bottles and my computer and my planners and everything like that. And I have some on my car and just things. So I picked up some stickers. I grabbed this one that just says Oahu Hawaii. And I grabbed it because it's a turtle. I thought it was really pretty colors though too. And then I picked up this one that says Aloha Koalina, Oahu, Place of Joy, which is where we stayed. It was in Koalina. I love how everything has kind of this vintage vibe to it. I'm, I'm definitely here for it. This one was from um, Quicksilver. I just went ahead and grabbed it when I grabbed my stepdad's, um, I mean, my dad's t-shirt. So I just went ahead and grabbed myself, 
hair on me. Went ahead and grabbed myself a little Hala'iwa because this is the little town in the North Shore. So I grabbed one of those. And then I grabbed this one that just says Hawaii, Oahu, Hawaii. I thought it was cute with the eye as a surfboard. And I love the scene inside of it. I think the colors are really pretty. And then I got two more. I got this one from TNC Surf Designs and it's just from Pearl City, Oahu. And it just is Aloha. Just from the different little cities we were at. And then this one says Aloha from, Parada from Paradise, TNC, Hawaii. And it has a little palm tree. I thought that was really cute. Okay, let's see. I also grabbed a little bookmark because I was reading so much. You guys, I read four books, you guys. I don't get to read very much at home. I mean, I'm reading now because I've fallen back in love with reading again because I read so many books on vacation and they were so fantastic. So I'm reading a lot more now, but um, I had kind of stopped reading. And so this made me realize how much I love to read. So I bought myself a bookmark just because I didn't have one. And this shop was so cute, this Soha Living. So I went ahead and grabbed one and it's just this really cute Hawaiian floral print with a little tassel, just paper, just a plain little bookmark, but I thought it was cute. And then I had to grab from that store, they had these little bags, these little canvas bags. They had them in a bunch of different sizes, like little smaller ones. I went ahead and grabbed this size because I don't have anything this size. And I thought it was a really nice size for either toiletries for travel, or even like if you have a bigger um, like bag that you're carrying, like a duffel or, or um, like a tote, and you wanna put some stuff in here to keep it. It's just a really cute canvas, and it has pineapples of all different colors on it. And then it just says Soha Living. And it says Handmade Hawaii or Honolulu Hawaii on the back too. So I just thought that was really cute. So I picked that up. And then I also picked up this bag and it's a computer bag. I didn't have one. I didn't have a bag for my computer and I traveled with it. So I thought, oh my gosh, how great to take it home in a bag. And I fell in love with it. I thought it was so cute and it was on clearance. So I was super excited. I just love the palm trees and the stripes. I thought it was really cute. So I grabbed that to hold my computer and it's just a basic computer bag. It's wipeable. It's like that slick material, you know, and um, the zipper pulls say aloha, which is really cute. Okay, that is what I got from that cute shop. Let's talk about the ABC store. The ABC store is like Hawaii's 7-Eleven, but a fancier version of 7-Eleven. They carry all kinds of t-shirts and jewelry and towels and um, food, groceries, whatever you might need, but then also um, all of the lotions and bath bombs and coconut stuff and mugs and cups and plates, everything that you can want. Like a basic huge souvenir store, but really reasonably priced. So fun. So I grabbed a few things in there and every time you make a purchase at the ABC store, you save your receipts and then you go back on your last night and you get free gifts based on the amount of money that you send. So I'm going to show you guys those next. But I picked up three of these vintage postcards. They were like three for 75 cents or so a quarter each or something. Maybe three for 50 or something like that. So I picked up this one that has the turtles on it that just says Hawaii. I use these in my, my journal. I tape them into my journal and then write around them. Kind of like a junk journal type of a thing, but not really. So I got the ones with the turtles, of course. And then I grabbed this one because I just loved how it looks like a vintage print, the Aloha Hawaii. Doesn't that just look like an old-fashioned poster that you'd see in like an airport or something? And then this one as well. And this one actually is probably one that was in an airport at some point. It's a Hawaiian Air one. And that's what we flew. And it was like literally the most amazing flight. I can't believe how great that flight was. The food was great. The um the seats were luxurious. I had a lot of space. Um, they have like a little thing where if you put it down, it holds your phone. And if you get onto the Hawaiian Airlines app, if you download that before you fly, you can watch all of their in-flight movies, television shows, listen to the music, play any of the games. It's heaven. It's heaven. I loved it so much. So I grabbed this Hawaiian Airlines postcard as well. And then I also picked up a journal because I like to start a new journal in the summers, New Year's, you know, and so I figured vacation was the perfect time to start a new journal. So I grabbed this one. I thought it was really pretty. It's just a little hard bound with the little, um, I don't know, closure, what you would call that. But it is just really pretty. It's like this golden and it just has the Hawaiian Islands. 
I just thought it was beautiful. So I grabbed that and inside it has just regular line pages. So picked that up to write in. That's going to be my new journal. They also had pins and I think I've told you guys that I'm going to start getting pins for all the special places that I go to if they sell them there. And I was really excited that they had different pins there. So I grabbed this little girl and she says Aloha Hawaii and it's just a little hula girl. And then I picked up this one that is actually like the license plates. Thought it was cute. So I grabbed those two to put on my pin board. I wanted to get a couple of like traditional items. So I picked up this ring. It's kind of on little strands of um, elastic. And it's one of those little dough or clay, you know, flowers that they sell. They sell them in earrings and necklaces. One's for your hair, which I actually got one. But I went ahead and grabbed this because I thought it was really cool that it was a ring and not like a something else. I don't know. It's not kind of cute. I thought it would be fun for work. So I picked that up. And then I also grabbed a little hair tie. One of the little hair ties with the flowers on it. So I figured when I do my hair in a ponytail, I could wear it with my little flower on it. So I just went ahead and got the like, um, they had ones with like pink and purple. I went ahead and got the yellow because it's like the most realistic looking. And then the last thing I picked up at the ABC stores for myself, um, we also got a bunch of groceries. My mom, my aunt did shopping. So at the end, we got all of our receipts to turn in. But I also grabbed this little pill case um, to hold my purse. I don't have one right now. I'm holding them in a little plastic baggie. So I was like, why not? You know, I have to keep my nausea pills on me at all times and things like that. So I was like, why not have a cute little one in your purse? So I got this one with the little Hawaiian flowers. Just as fine. It's just like one of the little pop top things and it has a double thing in there so oh you can move it you can remove the little divider and it says in here pillbox or portable ashtray so I guess you could remove this and use it as a little teeny tiny ashtray I'm gonna be using it as a pillbox but I'm really excited because I don't have one and it was like how practical and something that I never would have like bought here because I don't go into things like this I guess souvenir shops around California because I'm not a tourist here but I guess I should because they have cute stuff like this so I picked that up okay oh the stuff that I got okay <laughs> we had a lot of points so I ended up with three things I got a mug and they come in these cute boxes mine got a little obliterated on the plane because I had to pack it in my luggage but it comes with this cute little mug in it and it just says Hawaii and then it has the little turtle which, of course, I chose the one with the turtle. They had a bunch of different ones, but I like it. I think it's cute. It's got a couple of shells. So I grabbed the turtle one, and then they had, I grabbed a beach towel. That was one of my options. So I went ahead and picked up a beach towel because I don't actually have one of my own here. I just kind of use my grandma's, so I went ahead and grabbed my own. So it's really cute. It says Aloha, and it has the, like, blue and white stripe with the black border. It's hard to show a towel, but it has a big pineapple on it with red hearts. And then on the bottom, it says Hawaii. So it says Aloha Hawaii with that cute pineapple in the middle of it. I just thought it was really, really cute. So I got that for free with the mug. And then I also got a t-shirt, which I was over the moon about because look at how cute this is. Isn't that cute? Isn't it remind you of like Miami Vice? Something like that. Miami Vice, right? Does that remind you of that? It just says Aloha Hawaii and it just says all the islands. Island Paradise, Maui, Hawaii, Oahu all of the different islands of Hawaii. And then inside, on the other side, it says Aloha Hawaii with the little palm trees. Super cute, right? For free? Are you kidding me? How amazing is that? Okay, last few things. I, I've saved all of the jewelry to show you at the end because it's the prettiest stuff that I'm so excited about. But I did go to Starbucks, and so I bought a mug. And this is only in Hawaii, so I was super excited to find it. And it's their pineapple Starbucks mug. It's just it's just yellow and green. I know it's nothing special, but it's so cute because it's pineapple, you know? So I just grabbed that to keep my tea in or whatever, water. And then they had a mini version for a keychain. This I am gonna put on my keys. This is so dang cute. It actually opens and is like a regular cup. Isn't that the cutest little? I mean, you guys understand, right? When they sell something in a miniature version, you have to buy it. Cause I do. I ha if I if I buy something and I see something in its mini version, I have to buy it. So I got those. All right. 
just a few jewelry pieces and then we're done. My grandmother wanted to buy us each something nice. And so at the Dole Pineapple Plantation, they have this place called Maui Divers Jewelry. And it, you can open, a, you pick an oyster and then they open it up and inside is a pearl and it can be a bunch of different colors. It can come in multitude of colors and it's kind of surprising what you get. Sometimes you get two, which are called twins. And it's just really fun to do. It's, it's super fun to be surprised. I don't know. Obviously, I like flying bags and things like that. So an oyster being able to open and have a surprise pearl in it is just like my dream. So I did that. It was super fun. And my grandma went ahead and put my pearl onto a ring for me as my something special in Hawaii. And it is just this really beautiful, really simple white gold, kind of like a wave design is what they call it. Let me put it on my hand so you can see it. It's called a wave design, how it goes up like that. But then I, I, my pearl was this beautiful, dark blue, black, purple kind of a pearl. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful colored pearl. Super excited about that. So yeah, gorgeous, right? So this is the place that it's from, Maui Divers Jewelry. Amazing. So I was super excited with that. I'm, I've, I've been wearing it every day. I'm not going to take it off. It's going to be, you know, my grandma gave me this necklace. I don't take it off. She gave me that. I'm not going to take it off. So super special. All right. I picked up three more rings just at this really cute store that I had gotten the bag and the computer bag and the little top. I went ahead and grabbed these rings because they're so different than anything I'd ever seen. They're little stretch rings. So this one is just like a little thing with some stones and a pearl. And then this one is just a little like pearl and they're a little stretchy like on a string. So they're stretchy rings. And then this one is little pearls and some gold beads. They're just beads on a string, but aren't they cute? I mean, how cute on like elastic. So I thought these would be cute to stack and wear all together. So I picked those up for myself. I also grabbed this for myself. This woman was selling jewelry at our resort. They had people there selling jewelry um, every day. And this woman was selling these and it's so cool how she makes them. So she makes all this different kind of pearl jewelry. And at the end, she has a bunch of leftover pearls of different colors of, you know, cause she's made a strand of one color and she doesn't need the extra pearl or something like that. Well, she went ahead and made bracelets out of all of those little random extra pearls and bits that she had. So it's just a multicolored pearl bracelet with all different sizes and shapes and types and colors. I just thought it was so pretty and it is actually together with a magnet. So it's going to be super easy to get on and off. Not pretty. It was $10. I couldn't believe that. I, I mean, she, she could probably get way more for them. That's, I thought it was an amazing, cool thing that she did, like with no waste. I, that was amazing. And then another girl the next day was selling these and they're kind of a freshwater pearl, but they're on these like Venetian glass beads. She said she commissioned them just for her shop. I don't know if that's true, but it was one of the most beautiful things that I'd seen. So I went ahead and picked it up. This was $20, which also shocked me. They're Venetian crystals or whatever in a real pearl, but it's just gorgeous stuff that they had at really reasonable prices. So it has this really pretty like freshwater larger pool there and then it has all these beautiful like glass beads in differing colors like differing natural colors let me show you what it looks like on it's just really pretty on the wrist i just thought it was really a beautiful color and everything and so i grabbed that and then i went ahead and grabbed this just for fun because i love these and they're wish bracelets and this one is life is a beach close your eyes and make a wish then tie this bracelet on your wrist when the bracelet breaks in two the wish you made might just come true. I thought it was just a really cute bracelet too that I would wear, but I do love the idea of a wish bracelet. And I just grabbed the one that was pink with some beading and then a gold pineapple. I thought it was really cute. They were selling those everywhere. I can't remember where I ended up buying mine. And then the last few things that I bought at the resort from the people that were selling their handmade jewelry and everything was this. And it was actually from the same lady that the bracelet came from and it was one of the sets of earrings that she had made and they're just beautiful pearl freshwater like pearl earrings there with like some dangly um like Swarovski Swarovski <laughs> Swarovski crystals on it or something sorry one of them got tangled up probably from the flight but yeah 
Anyways, isn't that gorgeous? Aren't those pretty? I just thought those were beautiful and she was, she had handmade all these beautiful jewelry. And then I also had to get this and it is an anklet and she makes these as well. And it isn't the same girl, it's a different girl that was there on a different day. But I loved her stuff and I was super excited to get this. I also bought my friend a necklace. I already gave it to her though. And they were two for 30. So they were $15 a piece. And this one is this like stone um, anklet. It's pink stones with gold little balls in between. And then it has a freshwater little hanging pearl that's wrapped with gold. If you guys can see that there. Isn't that pretty? I just thought that was a really pretty little anklet. So I grabbed that to wear this summer. All right, guys, that does it. I know that this was such a long video. For those of you that did wanna see and did stick around, I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys liked it. I had so much fun. I, I shopped way too much probably, but I like I said, I hadn't been there in a decade. I hadn't been on a vacation in at least like three to four years. So it, it just, it needed to happen. So I went a little bit overboard, but I hope that you guys enjoyed and a Dollar Tree haul is coming up. I also have some friend mail that came while I was on my vacation that I really want to open up. So I have that video coming up soon as well. And until the next time I see you guys, take care.